Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. We are back with our main squad. Uh, we are currently exploring uh, over the other side of the world from our initial base. Well, I say over the other side of the world. I mean, we, we started in kind of like, uh, well, yeah. I suppose we are kind of over the other side of the world. And over near Japan to west coast united states it's it's, it's not that bad uh we are semi low on resources we just did a scavenging mission uh, mission here oh actually no we were just about to do a scavenging mission that was it um but we don't have any refuel points in sight uh, so we're going to do this and hopefully that will uh, give us a bunch more resources not going to be enough to actually build anything here um but uh, if we find another one of these then we'll be able to make that work in our favor now there has been another quick bug patch uh, since the last time we played. Uh, it's been, well, I, as always, it's a week in between be doing my recording sessions. Um, don't know precisely what may or may not have changed, but we'll uh, we'll have a look and see if there's anything obvious in the gameplay. Hello, you, Captain Stabby, up on the top there has got. Is that double? Double claws, or is that a shield? Let's have a look and we'll zoom in a bit. That is a shield, yeah. Just a just a weird angle. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to take him out uh, because he's got claw. He can't return fire, so we just want to get into a good position where we get a decent angle on him. Come across to here. That'll be almost certainly plenty. Not much armor on your face, mate, uh, but we're going to shoot sort of centrally. Broke his leg. He's bleeding. He's still got his arm intact, but uh, not too worried about that. In fact, if we change to the pistol, we can probably step on in and get a decent shot. Decent shot right up you, mate. Right on your face. Two damage, still not killed him. I'll be safe rather than risking someone dying unexpectedly. There we go. A little bit of extra willpower. Right, everyone else, let's uh, move you forwards. I'm gonna try not to use the uh, the fire cats this time. I, as nice as they are, I don't want to rely on them as uh, like our methodology. There's plenty of other things that we can do and try out. Uh, actually, we'll bring you across here. Uh, down this side, you've still got a little bit of movement left. And right at the back, let's bring you right to the front. Ooh. Over towards the back. Again, Stabby and Shield. So he's going to come towards us. Looks like we had something new come in as well. Yeah, it's another face hugger, mind fragger. Oh, and a dude up on the top. That is unexpected. All right. Luckily, this dude is right by the medic. Shooting straight on the carapace. Good return fire. And when I say that, I am being massively sarcastic, of course. Okay. Medic! And then, let's just shoot over our friend's head. It's pretty decent. We can do that again. So, next potential issues. Hmm. Yeah, probably should have given you a different gun back at base. That's fine. We'll make this work. I know. Right, it's two packs of, uh, of willpower available. Let's jump up here, and then next time we can jump across to the other one. Extra willpower for everyone. 
now. Can we get a decent shot on this? I think we probably can. There goes his arm. This guy is not a threat. Uh, so, I think what we'll do with you is if we get you here, you can try a pistol shot at that. It might work. It's not that bad as far as accuracy goes. Oh, cool. Got rid of its spawning abdomen. I'm assuming that's vital for its regular functions. Uh, over here... You can come on up. In fact, we'll change you back to your sniper. Just so we've got more people in the immediate area. And where are we going to put you? Well, we could put you right in front of this guy then. If that tiny thing comes running forwards, we've got a pistol right here. That works. The old uh, bait and switch technique. Oh, his pincers on the ground. He doesn't know what to do. Now, bait and switch only works if it actually goes for the bait. That's all right. Plan B. Plan B consists of getting someone else to come in and pistoling it off. Uh, let's step to here. And hold still, friend. There you go. Don't even need to worry about it. Uh, right, in terms of this guy, we can get a flanking angle on him. And we can we can get a decent shotgun blast, actually. Let's, let's try and just eliminate the arm. There we go. He's going to bleed out. I love shotguns so much. Shotguns are by far my favourite weapon at the moment. It'd be good to be able to uh, set the speed of the uh, zoom-in shots that it does. So you could see the individual pellets. But uh, I don't think that's something that, uh, that they'd bother implementing. Uh, right, let's send you across to the next one and we'll get even more willpower for the team. Eyes from above. Um, yeah, let's bring you in over here. Uh, we don't need to do any more damage to him, he's going to die by himself. So let's, let's leave it at that for now. And then we'll try and use our willpower next turn to eliminate the fresh spawns. Which is this guy. Oh, he's trying to defend them. Well, not really, but... Okay, we're going to shoot him in the butt. Straight up Main Street. Over this side. Oh, we could get a snipe on him. Or we can send you barreling on in. I think that'll be much better. So, charge on in. Then we'll use exertion. Change to the shotgun. Right in the head. Yeah. Uh, that's all we've seen in terms of new people spawning in. Uh, let's, let's keep you over here for this. You can start charging over this way. You can run a bit further to catch up. And you may as well come over here as well. I'm happy enough with that. Alright, we have one new. Existing ones are still alive. Just not very alive. 
two new. Okay. Uh, we can we can work with two new ones. So who actually has the pace to get over to them? Hmm, no one really. Well, okay, let's let's deal with this side over here. So again, we have willpower coming out of our ears. So we'll charge on in, exertion, then shotgun in the back. Not surprisingly, that guy fractured. Over here, it's probably going to take several willpower pops to get all the way through, but that's okay. So, carry on. First exertion will get us to here. Second exertion will get us to here. And third will get us actually killing And this will give us back enough willpower for another exertion as well. Shotguns. They are just so good. Right, back up a little bit in case a mine fragger comes in there. Uh, you're all okay where you are. Right, you're going to come down here and support this guy. You're going to come up this way, so we've got support in between. And I don't know where we're going to move you, but you can stay where you are for now. And that was it. Last guy just needed to bleed out. So this is going to give us a little bit of resources and, of course, more materials that uh, were weapons and ammo and stuff that are going to go back to one of the Phoenix bases. Um, we don't really care about those. We've got our team well equipped at the moment. 82 materials, though. We need another scavenging site so that we can try and build a fuel center. Well, that is a bit awkward. Okay, emergency refuel where we are. And I guess we'll carry on sort of down south. Another emergency refuel. I mean, it's cool that these guys have got so many bases, but uh, scavenging sites is really what we needed. All right, let's hop on in and uh, we'll get ourselves some more materials. We spent quite a bit just on, on refueling. Uh, the last thing I want to do is have to sit still for days and days and days to get enough to build a refueling station. But if we have to do that, then we'll do that. Ooh. That's a grenade launcher. So we are going to need to play a little bit more carefully with these guys. Uh, straight on with a shotgun. So torso is reasonably armored. Legs are reasonably armored. Arms are not armored at all. At least that one isn't. So let's go like that. Well, he died anyway. And we're not going to shotgun his friend who's all the way in the distance. We're going to have to snipe at him. It's nice having some slightly different uh, bad guys to deal with. Okay, uh, let's let's use Deadly Duo on him. First shot through his leg. Second shot, wherever it went, he's been eliminated. Ooh, there is a mine fragger right there. Uh, if we get to here, we'll be able to see it, and then we can pop exertion to kill it. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm using all the willpower on one of my people so that the other one still has a 
full complement of bonus willpower as we get it. Uh, you can get up here. Where are we going to send you? I feel like we should have a look around for it. There we go. You are just on willpower retrieval duty. It's a, it's a valuable role, all things considered. I mean, we've got an overflow of willpower over here. And that can make all the difference to being able to eliminate bad guys. That's a very defensible position. Get right in there. Hunker yourself down. And over this side, uh, yeah, let's send the engineer this way. Alright, well, we can move you forwards a little bit further. And I think that will do for this turn. Right, another dude with a grenade launcher. Might be able to snipe him from up top, actually. Eyes in the sky, what do you see? Come on, mayhem. Oh, mayhem, that was just over his head. All of the disappointment, mate. All of the disappointment. Might be able to see him from here. That is a pretty tight shot. Go for the leg, go for the arm, go for the leg. Got his arm. It, I'm fine with that. It's a hit, so it counts. Might be able to get a decent shot on his chest from over here. Yeah, that is pretty decent. Only two damage though. Let's uh, go for a little bit more. Alright, someone else is going to take this then. Put it right. He is actually he heavily armoured everywhere. That arm is not, though. Took his grenade launcher off after that. He had nothing left to live for. Right, if we pull up to here, we'll have eyes on this entry area. And that... That guy over there. Eh... It's a bit risky, but we've got ammo to spare. Yeah, three. That's not bad. Certainly better than some of the people have done so far. Uh, let's bring the engineer up. Having seven people on a mission is pretty huge for general survivability and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's everything we can do. So let's finish that off. And we have a new guy coming in there. And this guy did not successfully get close enough to shoot at us. So let's step in with our pistol and finish him off. In fact, we'll do it at almost point blank range. So... Grenade launcher arm first. Oh, well, that just killed him instantly. We'll call it shock. Died of shock. Over here, you have a buddy buddy that you need to look at. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get you lined up on him as straight as you can be. Less chance of shots going a bit stray. Cool. Killed his arm with a grenade launcher. And you're going to come in and finish him off. Lovely. 
Good job, guys. Uh, at this point, uh, we can step forward a little bit here. Uh, you may as well jump down. Let's uh, let's bring you over here for now. We'll move them up towards the uh, the other world PowerPoint in just a moment. I'm happy with you. Uh, let's bring you up to here. I think that's everyone that we care about. Right, new guy with a grenade launcher. Is he the last one? Okay. Shotgun time, guys. In we come. And we are going to aim for this arm. Yeah. Oh, that interestingly wasn't the last mob that we're going to see all right one more spawned in there one more spawned in back here well let's let's do the up close and personal not even going to aim it this time shotgun right at him uh, is it worth you taking a shot i mean you can try that nearly hit our friend. Let's not do that again. Mayhem is a little bit too dangerous. Shotguns are just so good. Um, let's put you on Overwatch just in case anything comes through right next to you. Uh, we've got one more right at the back. Not quite where I was expecting, but... And out of sight, actually. That's all right. We have enough willpower to do the charging. So while they did balance the willpower a little bit, it is still incredibly powerful for the soldiers. I mean, this is crazy, crazy strong in terms of game ability. Being able to move around. I, the, the level of mobility from exertion. Um, the fact that you can use it more than once in a turn, I think, is really the problem. Um, not that you can store up a lot of willpower, that could be good. Um, not that you get the extra action, but the fact that you can keep doing it again and again and again and again um, becomes problematic because it turns one, one person into a super soldier who can move seven times in the time it takes everyone else to move once. Um, right. What have we got? They're not happy. They're not happy. These guys are happy. This one is happy. This one is happy. So if we refuel and we head across here and then we wait just a little bit until we've got 100 resources, then at least we'll get a refueling station over here. And give us a little bit of flexibility while exploring. Come on, just need a few more materials. We're just watching the materials up here. As soon as it ticks over to 100, then we will be golden. Eh, eh, right. Port Terminus is under attack. We're not probably going to make it back in time. Because we've got a whole... We'd have to go up and over and down to be able to get there in time. I think we'll have to leave them to die. Right. That's our refueling station. I mean, they might get lucky. In the meantime, we can carry on exploring. But I think that's going to be for next time. Uh, we've done two scavenging missions, which is plenty for the moment. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy this. Obviously, materials are our biggest problem at the moment, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, get some more bases, get some more production going for that next time. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.